Hi everyone, Gridlock Cosplay here. I am doing a really quick build right now. I am building a shield out of foam. It's for a future video, and I just thought that while I'm doing this, I may as well show you what I'm up to. I just grabbed from my stash of floor mats, and I cut the biggest circle I really could in here. It's about uh, 11 inches radius, so we got 22 inches there. And I've taken it and put it on this exercise ball, heated it up to give it a little bit of roundness. From my box of foam scraps, I have some pieces that I didn't end up using on the Mech Warrior. I had been uh, making this and I cut a little too much of it. And uh, so I have some left over. They're nice, uh, nice pieces. This is going to be for uh, a border around the edge. So I'm just taking uh, a knife to the back and cutting off all of the bumps. All right, so I've got a nice long piece here. It goes almost all the way around, actually. And I'm thinking that what I'll do is is uh, heat it, curl it, like so that it uh, it is flat and around, and then it'll go on just a bit here. But I'll make a full ring, maybe cut it on the other side so that the seam is there too. I've taped the ends together so that it makes one circle. And I think that I'm going to make a few other cuts in here, uh, just so that the, the seams look natural. So I've cut it into four pieces, obviously, and what I'm going to do here, uh, I've marked where I have done the cuts so that I know which places they go together. Uh, I'm going to grind down the seams a little bit to make them a really nice, obvious uh, cut. Gonna do the inside edge a little bit too. Always do a test piece. A little bit too fast. There we go. Just cut out some thin cardboard here and that's going to go on the on here for um, reinforcing the seams. While I'm letting all of these edges dry, I have another piece here and I think I want to do a cross piece. So like uh, make it look like a, a piece of metal going across there. Ben Eady released a video showing something exciting that he had found with uh, contact cement where if you've let it dry for too long and it is no longer sticking, just hit it with a heat gun and uh, and it refreshes it and your pieces will stick together. Uh, he used barge, I believe. I'm just confirming that it does work with LePage as well, which I get from Home Depot. So, okay. Not going, they're, they're not gonna stay. And boom, they're together. Okay, I just gotta flatten this out now. That works really well. Stuck. Okay. I'll just continue around. A bit more glue around the edge here. 
so that I can fold this edge over. Next time I do this, I'll do all this detail afterward because uh, in bending this around, it has stretched a little bit. And that's it. That's pretty much all I need. So I will plasti dip this and then uh, get some paint on it. It's actually pretty nice and sunny today. So I brought it out into the sun so that it can dry. Just about done. My original idea was to just use some acrylic paints and, and hand paint it, but I saw in my cupboard that I have this Rust-Oleum metallic finish and it looks really neat, like it's nice and shiny. So I'm gonna use that instead. Whoa, as I lose my balance. Wow! That looks so neat. That's looking really nice. And there it is, a brand new shiny cosplay shield. This is going to be featured in an upcoming video, so please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notifications so you don't miss that one. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.